everyone, and welcome back to a Fortnite at Freddy Fazbear's. We're gonna be continuing the story today, so if you haven't seen the first part, definitely watch that video first. It's gonna be linked in the description, you can't miss it. It's gonna be the first link for you to click on, so I would definitely encourage you to watch the very first video to understand the whole story of this game. And in this part right here, in the second part, I'm hoping to see Chico and Bonfi. That's the mission for this video. We didn't really get to see them in my first video. We saw Fexa, we saw Frenny, but nothing when it comes to Chico and Bonfi. So that's our mission for today's video. And we're going to be starting in the apartment of Josh Black, the main character for this story here. And uh, yeah, he got Fix's phone number. That's pretty much the last thing we did. He got Fix's phone number, completed the first night, and then uh, he just moved on to his apartment to get breakfast, I think it was. I beeline straight for the kitchen and prepare a quick breakfast of butter toast. As I eat, I try to come up with a flirtatious message that's sure to get Fexa's attention. God dang it, he's a Fexa simp. Of course he is. Of course he is. He represents the majority of the fan base. He's gotta be a Fexa simp. He just had to be. I keep coming back to pirate adjacent puns with varying degrees of success. Eventually, I settle on something cheesy. There he goes. There he goes. Do you leave pictures and your number for all the guards, or have I caught your interest? Also, don't think I forgot about you getting into my secure place last night. I should totally get to see your Davy Josh's locker in return. Is that the pun? He's making a pun with Davy Jones, so it's Davy Josh's locker. That's it. My man is about to be left on read. Fex is just gonna straight up ignore you. Then I wait and wait. Oh god, the crippling anxiety is setting in. Two hours has passed and still no reply. Yep, yep, he's gonna be left on read. I'm about to cut my losses and go to sleep when my phone buzzes. She's actually replying. Let's just say you're interesting. And don't think I didn't catch the whole Davy Jones versus Davy Josh pun for my locker. You can have this picture to tide you over until tonight. Oh boy. Whew. Am I ready for this? Okay, okay. Pirate booty it is. Patrons only. <laughs> I can only put that booty on Patreon. It is what it is. Uh, so not only do you get drinks with the girls if you're a patreon, but you also get to see Fix's booty That's how it is man. It is what it is uh, Damn you've got quite the booty here or quite the booty there How are we supposed to have fun with the cameras watching anyways? Well, she did mention that the cameras loop at a certain time Let's not forget about that so there's definitely an opportunity for like a, a quickie. Well, we always have two minutes around 3 a.m. Though with me, you won't last 30 seconds. What is this? What is this? See, none of this would happen with Chiku. None of this would happen with Chiku. I'm not sure I like this. Care to make that a bet? Oh my god. You can tell, you can tell, this ain't me. This is, this is all Josh, Josh is doing here. I wouldn't be having those kind of conversations, especially not with Fexa. Oh, I'd love to, but let's figure out the camera thing first. Last guy had a few ways, but Mr. Smith patched all the big security holes when he got caught. We'll have to be more clever, we'll have to be more clever. It's just the 3M bug left at the moment. Got it, I'll sleep on it and see if I can figure anything out. See you tonight. Sleep quickly takes me after the excitement of the night. My dreams are a barrage of curvy animatronics dancing for my pleasure. You... You are such a pervert, a pervert, sir. Come on now. 
combined with Fex's photo, there's no wonder I wake up. Come on! Come on! Come on! Good lord! Good lord! No! No, no, I'm, I'm gonna save here. But no, don't do that. Instead of indulging my dreams, I hop into the shower, slip into my uniform, assemble some lunch, then check the clock. Take a cold shower, just, just, get through it, man, and get to work. Jesus Christ, I've got a few hours before I'm due at the nightclub. I'm not a techie per se, but it occurs to me that having admin access to, of the security room laptop might be important. That would be one way to gain control of the cameras for sure. Then we can make some pizzas with Chiku. Especially if I need to delete or modify any footage in case of a mess up or having fun with the animatronics. Then again, there's a chance that some hidden security measure would trip and alert Mr. Smith if I tried any hacking. Hmm. Hmm. Should I research ways to gain admin access? I would I would think that's probably the best thing to do. We should we should research some methods of gaining admin control. Let's do that. How hard could it be? Hackers do stuff like this all the time in movies. A few Google searches later and I've gone down a rabbit hole of techno babble that almost goes over my head. I understand just enough to be armed with three methods uh, to try once I get to work. Three methods. I said that too quickly. By the time I push back from my desk, the sun has already set. I hear the low rumble of thunder in the distance. According to the weather report, there's a particularly heavy thunderstorm due in the area soon. Supposedly, the storm will last through the night and into the morning. Fun. There's nothing else for me to do at home. Time to get to work. Let's get to it. Let's get to night two. Which, actually, I'm rather surprised. I thought this, this pre-alpha version would only have the first night, but apparently we got two nights. Maybe even three. I'm greeted with the sound of singing once I get through the reception area. On stage is Freddy once again. She's dancing to the beat like an idol, belting out an upbeat tune in a language I can't quite make out. As she performs, she makes eye contact with B, winks, points to the table, and winks again. Just to be on the safe side, I check the clock on my phone. Technically, my shift doesn't start for another 10 minutes. We got 10 minutes. Have a nice little chat. Perhaps I should sit down and enjoy the show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch the show. I'm gonna watch Freddy perform. I take a seat at the table Freddy's pointing at, offering her a smile and wave in return. Freddy finishes up her current song before turning towards me and smiling back. This next one goes out to a special someone in the audience. Oh, I, I feel special now, this is great. Surprisingly, the stage lights kick into action along with a sick beat. Freddy twirls the mic around their hand. Oh, there's the beat. Oh, we got the beat going. Swaying back and forth as she begins to sing. She's actually singing in English. I'm not sure what it was going about before that, then. <laughs> she seems like she's singing in English to me. I'm not gonna sing, by the way. I'm gonna spare you that. Song begins to wrap up, but I want more. I want an encore. I savor every last beat, jiggle, and word as Freddy finishes the song. All the lights shut off at the conclusion of the song. Then the house lights come up, and Frenny's seated on the edge of my table. So hot stuff, what do you think? That was a beautiful song. Sad, emotional, captivating. She laughs, a hand on her chest as she playfully pushes my shoulder with the other. You're too kind, but please, do keep praising me. Well, I think there's more to you than meets the eye. And what does it, and what does is already quite appealing. I look forward to seeing more of you. She slides closer, giggling. Fexa was right. You're too good for us girls. But I think your alarm's about to go off. She points at my phone right as midnight ticks over and my alarm clock sounds. I fumble to turn it off. When I look back, 
and he's gone. She's like Batman. She just vanishes like that. That's crazy. I really need to figure out how she's doing that. Is she just fast like fix or is there more at play here? Ninja Freddy. We got Ninja Bonfi. Well, now we got Ninja Freddy. It's we got two ninjas. Things are out of control. Whatever the case, I slide out of my seat and head for the security room. By the time I sit down in front of the laptop and the camera feeds, the sound of heavy rainfall permeates through the building. Every so often, there's a flash of light on some of the cameras, followed by a peal of thunder. There's no note in the office telling me that a mess needs cleaning or something needs to be restocked. However, there is now a phone and an answering machine on the desk. The light is flashing, and by instinct, I hit the playback button. Don't have anything for you to deal with tonight, kid, but you picked a bad time to sign on. Getting a thunderstorm on your second night's gotta be rough. Some of the animatronics don't take well to thunder, and if the power goes out, then all of them will automatically activate and seek out the highest authority in the building. Remember, don't get jiggy with it when it comes to your animatronics, even if they come onto you. Ciao! Oh, jeez, hold up, sorry. I clicked too fast. The light flickers right on cue. That doesn't bode well. We're about to lose power. And if the night couldn't get any weirder, my phone vibrates from a text. Does that fix it? No, it's the unknown person again. Get out! Now! Seriously, who is this? This isn't funny. It's someone who's jealous. That's all it is. That's all it is. This guy's jealous. One thing's for sure. I'm not leaving the security room anytime soon. I could try some of the hacking tricks I picked up earlier to pass the time. Or maybe I should wait until 3am rolls around so I'm not caught on some hidden camera. Oh, decisions, decisions. You know what? I don't want it to go to waste. I don't want all the search to go to waste when it comes to hacking and all that. Let's try hacking it. I have nothing better to do, so I try and mess around with the laptop using what I learned before coming to the night. Almost immediately, the first attempt fails and throws up a security alert saying that the action has been logged off. <laughs> and that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I started to panic, but force that down and try something else. The second attempt gets me admin access. I'm able to erase the security alert, so there's no sign of my failed attempt. Scratch that. We, we did just fine. That could have been much, much worse. I remember that all the tutorials talked about making a secret root account so I have a backdoor into the laptop without throwing up any alarms. It's easy enough to do, even for someone of my skill level. It's amazing what you can learn from a few videos these days. Next, I check the camera access with my level of control. There's an easy way to loop the footage and or outright erase it. The later would be noticed easily, but the former should, uh, former should work just fine for my purposes. I also note that the camera feeds are all being encrypted and piped to a server somewhere in the building. However, even with my level of access, I can't pierce the encryption or stop the feed entirely. Unfortunately. With all that handled, I'd better check in on the girls. When I check the cameras, I see that the only girl out of a recharge pod is Bonfi in the animatronics room. There she is! Look at that! Look at that! Everybody's favorite bunny is out and about! So you know what that means. They've kept the best for last. They gotta they just gotta make us wait for Chiku. They gotta make us wait for Chiku, man. Whew. She's practicing with an electric guitar that's plugged directly into her thigh rather than a speaker. Now that's an interesting feature to have. I can hear her emitting any sound, yet she's jamming out all the same. Maybe she's the only one that can hear it. I queue up the camera intercom to check in on her. Having fun, I see. Everything's alright in there. Mr. Smith told me some of you girls don't take well at thunderstorms. Bunfy stops strumming her guitar to look up at the nearest camera. Her voice is like a nice, cold glass of milk after eating a particularly hot wing loaded with sauce. Whoever's going to be doing the voice of uh, Bonfi, keep that in mind. 
<laughs> That's what her voice should sound like, apparently. A nice cold glass of milk. I'm not sure what that sounds like, so I can't really reproduce that sound. Hi there, Mr. Black. Everything's fine in here so far. Chiku is really the only one that has a lightning complex. Oh no. The poor thing, she's scared of thunder. Of course she is. The poor, sweet, innocent Chiku. She's gonna get really scared. That's horrible. That is not good. That is not good. We gotta make sure that she's alright. Anyway, we got a question to ask Bonfi. You just did, silly, but sure. Why plug the guitar into your thigh and not a speaker? Do you have a built-in sound system? I do! I'm not as specialized as Chico or Fanny, but I can act as my instrument speaker whenever I want. It's all part of Bonfi's lore here. Take notes. Take notes. They're built into my ears. See? She gets closer to the camera, her rabbit ears pointed and angled so I can see the speaker holes within. That's quite the loadout. I have to get here earlier one night so I can see all four of you performing at once. That would be awesome. Since she's awake and I have nothing better to do, I start tossing some softball questions her way. Can you just play the guitar or are you musically inclined with other instruments? I can play pretty much anything decently, except wind instruments. You can probably guess why. She doesn't really have lungs. So I take it you're with, uh, you're the main music producer on stage. Do you take requests? That depends on the nature of the request, and look at that. She's blushing now. That's, that's kind of cute now, isn't it? That's pretty cute. So I wanted a solo performance of something like Thunderstruck. Don't, that is just, that is evil. She just told you, Chiku's afraid of thunder, and now you're gonna have perform Thunderstruck. What about thunderstorms? Is it safe for you to be in the charging pods if there's a power surge? And is Chiku afraid of thunder, or just doesn't like it? She's just afraid of it, man, she just said it. I think it's safe for us to be in the pods. I don't really remember the last time the power went out completely. As for Chiku, well, she leans it super close to the camera to whisper, one time she got lucked out of the club by accident during a thunderstorm and ended up struck by lightning. She got repaired and all that, but she still has some understandable hang-ups about the whole thing. That's just sad, man. That's just really sad. But thank you. Thank you for letting us know about that, Bonfi. Right as I'm about to ask something salacious, there's a shuddering boom that rumbles through the floor. The power goes out instantly, plunging me into darkness. We gotta... We gotta make sure Chiku's fine. I, I really don't care about anything else. I'm really worried now. The only light comes from the laptop screen, on it pops a warning. Network connection lost. Webcam recording enabled. Tapes will be checked. Do not mess with the animatronics. A little red light appears next to the webcam built into the laptop screen. It's gonna have IR or night vision. Otherwise, wouldn't it be useless in situations like this? It probably has night vision. Or maybe it's meant to be so if I were to unplug the laptop or take it off the Wi-Fi that it automatically records what's going on. Mr. Smith thought about everything. That's a security feature I was expecting, but hoping, I wouldn't have to deal with. Speaking of security features, there's a sudden knock at the security room door. It's probably Chiku, I feel. No, it's- oh god, dang it! Sorry, sorry, it's Fexa. It's Fexa. Of course, it's gotta be Fexa. I ain't got no time for this. Hey stud, now that the power's out, we can have some fun together. No! No, 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 no. I know you wanted a solo performance, but how- No. No, I want none of that. Then in a much quieter, though still... It's not- you, you, This guy doesn't understand. It's not a horny tone. It's- It's an angelic tone, okay? 
That's all it is. Chiku isn't horny. Chiku's precious. Get it right. Please let me in. I need to cuddle something right now really bad. My heart! My heart can only take so much! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I don't need to think about this too much. Uh, search for a vent or another way out of the room. Tell the girls they have to be good and wait for you upstairs. Let them in! I... Uh... I just want to let one of them in. Because I want to reassure Chiku. I'm really worried about her. Okay, let's see what happens if you let them in. Let's see. There's no way that door is going to hold back four animatronics. One way or another, I'm fucked. <laughs> I might as well accept what's coming to me. Finally, we get a piece of your ass. And see, that's, that's exactly why... You let Fexo in, that's what you get. You see that? Take a look at that. For all the Fexo simps out there, this is what you're voting for. This is what you're vote. You see this? I want that image in your brain, okay? I want it engraved on your brain. You gotta think about this. Every time you vote for Fexo, I want you to think about this. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? Then you're just gonna write a comment. Yeah. That's what I want, Max. I know you guys. I know that's exactly what you want, actually. <laughs> and then Franny and Bonfi are also... Uh, they're also a little bit sus right now. I wonder how long you'll last. Well... I feel like Fixer's gonna kill me before anything weird happens. Hold them down, girls. Time to show Mr. Black how we do things at Fast Claire's. Notice the absence of Chiku. Well, at least you went out with a bang, literally. Notice the absence of Chiku. I would like... I would like to bring you back here. Let me bring you back. Do you see that? Chiku didn't take part of this. She didn't take part of this because of what? Because she's the best one. And because this proves what I've been saying for as long as I can remember. When it comes down to it, the only electronic that is not going to arm you and that is going to be, you know, taking care of you and being super nice and all, it's, it's Chiku. It's always gonna be Chiku. And this, once again, proves my point. Thank you very much. That said, I'm gonna reload. <laughs> I'm gonna load my uh, safe state, there you go. And we gotta find a way out. We gotta find a way out. I would think searching for a vent would be the smartest thing to do. So let's try to go with this option. There's no way that door is going to hold back for animatronics. Uh, I glance about searching for an other means to get out of the security room. Miles, my eyes, excuse me, fall upon a vent cover towards the back of the room. The opening is just big enough for me, but it's too small for the animatronics. Just like Fat Nights at Freddy's. What are the odds? What are the odds? Are we also going to find Thomas the Tank Engine in there? Or, uh, the Rat Priest? Maybe. Maybe. I only hope that continues to be the case further along the vent system. After removing the cover, I crawl into the vents and close the grating behind me. I move further down away from the security office opening so I won't be visible. Moments later, there's a great pounding on the security office door. It doesn't hold long against the animatronic onslaught. Yeah, yeah, they could definitely destroy those doors. I hold my breath and pray as I hear the girls enter the office. Where the hell did he go? It appears Mr. Black is more cunning than we gave him credit for. Damn, I was hoping for a little fun tonight. All I wanted was go. Oh, no. <laughs> my heart. I really feel bad for Chiku. She just wanted cuddles. I didn't get my- just catch my breath here. Oh well, might as well have some fun in here before the power comes back and we're kicked out. Oh god. Agreed. It's been a while since I had a release. Don't do anything weird to Chiku, please. To both my horror and... horniness, the sounds of the animatronics make it out and grinding against one another wafts through the vents. Well then, it's the kind of sound you don't forget. Kind of sound that turns you on in the most confusing way. They're really going at it. 
I wonder if they realize that the laptop's webcam is recording. Oh boy, what do you mean for some? This is not true. This is not true. Chica would not participate in that. She's a holy chicken. Come on, man. Maybe they know and that's part of the appeal. Either way, I can't help the fact my hand is drifting towards... No, 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 no. Jesus Christ. No. Bad game. Bad. It's hard to resist the urge to... Whatever. <laughs> Still, not about to risk getting torn apart in more ways than one for a few moments of bliss. The girls keep going at each other, getting more and more frisky and loud as time goes on, when they eventually reach the cum zone. I can't help but shiver from how visceral their sounds are. So very descriptive. Ah, haven't had a good, uh, a good game of Just Dance in such a long time. Poor Fexa looks like she's stuck on cloud nine. Too bad Josh missed out. Only Mr. Smith is going to enjoy the show we just put on. I did hack the, the computers, though. Maybe I can get to the files. Maybe. I wonder where he got off to. Maybe they ran into the rain to get away from us. The girls all laugh except for Chiku. Perhaps we'll find out soon enough. As that ominous statement hangs in the air, the lights begin to flicker back to life. At the same time, a recording of Mr. Smith comes from the laptop. Animatronics are not allowed in the security room without permission. Return to your pods now. I repeat, animatronics are not allowed. Seems our time is up, girls. Back to the pods we go. Someone help me carry Fexa. She, she knocked herself out? Damn. It's not until I'm absolutely sure they're gone that I risk peeking out of the vents. The security room uh, door has been closed once more. I'm safe, I think. The laptop's still on and recording when I emerge from the vents. According to the clock, it's only been 30 minutes since the power went out. I clear my throat and look directly at the laptop's webcam. Just to let you know, Mr. Smith, I did not mess with any of the electronics. All I did was hide so I wouldn't break rule number one of the club. I was... Back there in the vents. The laptop does not come in. However, after four, about 40 minutes, the phone on the desk rings. When I pick up, I hear Mr. Smith on the other end. I just got a notification that power's back, as well as the laptop feed. You did good, kid. I'm still going to use my admin access to question the girls directly come the morning, but you don't look like a mess like the last guy did before I fired him. <laughs> Maybe you've got what it takes to keep this job after all. Thanks, boss. I... I'm doing my best. See that that continues. One thing before you hang up. Do I have to worry about the animatronics after what they did in the security room? Now that power's back on, they should have regained their full limiters. Plus, after they get off like that, they tend to spend the rest of the night recharging. That was definitely intense, so I bet they will. Got it. I'll do around the building to make sure nothing broke during the outage. Good thinking. I'm going back to sleep. Ciao. Now that the lights are back on, and I should be relatively safe, I've got some time to kill. I've already done, I've already done all I can with the security room laptop. I need to do further research in order to progress any further. Might as well go do around uh, of the building. Yeah. As I wander the building, I take special note of where the vents can be accessed. It's probably a smart thing to do. <laughs> I want to be able to get somewhere safe as fast as possible the next time I have to hide. Seems that most of every room has a vent in it. That should come in handy. My round of the building finishes around 6 a.m. I've made it through another night somehow. And there goes night two. Do we, wait, we got more? I am honestly shocked. I am speechless that this is still going i certainly wasn't expecting this this is going to be a full-fledged series folks this is going to be a full-on series 
<laughs> I started playing this game thinking, oh, I'll do one video and that should cover everything the pre-alpha version has to offer. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Well then, uh, I'm just gonna go through it night by night. So, first video, we cover night one. Second video, this one here, we cover night two. Let's have another one and cover night three. Seems like we should be able to get there. Oh shit, I just noticed I'm almost out of storage when it comes to my camera. So I'm gonna have to wrap up this video very quickly here. So thank you for watching. For all those who watched this entire video, thank you so much. I always appreciate uh, the more patient viewers that can get through longer videos like this. I hope the story is to your liking so far. Uh, now we completed night two, we're gonna move on to night three in the next part of the series, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to be subscribed to the Master Max Day Today channel. Join the Great Legions Discord server to be notified whenever I upload a video. You can support me on Patreon to see the videos before they're uploaded on YouTube and to see uncensored versions. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take my leave now because I'm running out of time. So thank you, thank you once again so much for watching all of this. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a better conversation with Chiku in the next part. It should be very interesting, so stay tuned, don't go too far. And with that, as always, take it away!